Hi guys, so today I'm going to be filming a roundup of the sexiest fragrances for women that I discovered this year. Some of the fragrances in this list you guys would have heard me talk about a few times on my channel or a lot on my channel, but a lot of the list is pretty new and they're new fragrances that I discovered this year that I find to be incredibly incredibly sexy so i'm really excited to get into this video i feel like everyone loves to know what is the sexiest perfume everyone loves to know what's the sexiest fragrance what's the sexiest cologne for a man for a woman so that's what i'm doing today this list is freaking massive so i'm not going to ramble i'm going to go through the fragrances really quickly because i didn't even count them but there is like it's filled up my table with how many fragrances i'm going to talk about today i am absolutely 100 certain you watching this video right now you will find at least one fragrance in this list that sounds up your alley that you want to go out and try and buy. I can guarantee it. I've got niche, designer, affordable, a bunch of different fragrances here that are very, very, very sexy. Also, I want to say I'm doing a meet and greet, my first ever meet and greet in New York City. I'll link the details below. It's on, um, <laughs> it's on November 5th. In New York City so I'm like super 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 excited to meet you guys so I won't ramble anymore let's get into this video let's start off with this one actually this is a cheapie from diesel it's a beautiful gourmand but without being too headache inducing sweet sickly disgusting it's fantastic if you're a girl watching this stop wearing black opium stop wearing love your bell and switch it up and wear something like this i know if you like those two fragrances especially black opium you will love this one black opium is too popular if you're watching it's too popular you want to stand out you want a guy to remember you and feel you know smell your perfume and think of you but black opium is on everyone, so don't wear it anymore. <laughs> In my opinion, don't wear it, especially not on a date. You want to be memorable. So for me, diesel, how does it smell? It's sugary, it's sugary, nutty, a little bit nutty, vanilla, sweet, a little bit fruity as well. It's fantastic. Try this, try it out, definitely try it out, and it is very affordable. Next up, let's go to a niche, a niche fragrance. Zerge of Lyon hands down hands down my favorite gourmand i discovered this year hands down this is fantastic i actually have to be honest when i first tried it i kind of was like what like i didn't really love it too much um but then as i started wearing it i was like in heaven if you don't know how this smells like i just said it's probably my favorite gourmand ever it's spicy, like kind of like a gingerbread cookie sort of thing. It's got a little bit of a, like a zestiness in the top, like a blood orange, but then it settles down into the most beautiful, like vanilla gingerbread cookie ever. It is fantastic. Zerge of Lyon. Okay, so let's switch it back up and go back to designer. YSL, Yves Saint Laurent Manifesto Le Parfum. I actually love this entire manifesto line. The Elixir, the Le Elixir, I think it is, is fantastic. I love that one. I definitely want to get a bottle, but I'm recommending the Parfum version because mm, if you want compliments, I get heaps with this one. So if you don't know, again, very sweet fragrance, balsamic, kind of like got this, um, like intensity to it like a, almost like a patchouli note but it's not patchouli it's got like this really punchy um punchy note in here it's not just a heavy dense sweetness there's a real like punch to the fragrance i'm not sure what it is it could be rose it could be patchouli i'm not sure but in this fragrance you get tonka bean benzwin vanilla it's beautiful balsamic very 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 sweet okie dokie so ooh, i love this bottle <laughs> So this one is from House of Siage and this is called Benevolence. If you like fragrances like um, Safinade from Parfum de Mali or uh, Love by Killian, you will love this fragrance. It's sweet orange blossom. That is basically what I get in here. A lot of orange blossom, a lot of vanilla, you know, orange blossom, sweet, a little bit floral with the vanilla, the sugar. But it is a beautiful fragrance. It's beautifully done. So it's quite a pricey fragrance. So keep that in mind. Try this one before you get it because it, it is simple. It's very simple, but I can guarantee that it will work well with everyone that you wear this around. So House of Siage, Benevolence. I find this one to be sexy in a really feminine way. Ooh, okay, good girl. Haven't talked about this one in a long time, but men, for some reason, men are obsessed with this scent. You ask any guy that knows this fragrance, and they will tell you how much they love it. 
I truly believe that. This fragrance is a man killer. That's what I feel. So uh, Carolina Herrera, um, what's it called again? Good Girl. That's it. Good Girl. It's a white floral mixed with some cacao, some musky, a little bit of like a manly smell to this fragrance. Like for me, I find this one kind of like a unisex scent, which is odd because you would think white flowers are very feminine. It doesn't smell very feminine to me. It's got almost a little bit of a masculine touch to it, which I think is very sexy. So musky, cow, sweet, um, nighttime, very uh, seductive sort of smell. This one is insane. Anisio Parfum's Psychedelic Love. <sighs> insane. I love this scent. I think it's probably one of my favorites from Anisio. For me, Rehab, Oud for Greatness, Psychedelic Love, Absolute Aphrodisiac. Let's be honest, I love everything from them. Very, very, very sexy and very sensual fragrance right here. It's very creamy, almost a little bit nutty, a tiny little bit of a floral aspect in there, like a little bit. It's got heliotrope. I don't even know what's in here, but to me, it's got a real nutty, almondy, creamy vanilla. Incredible fragrance, like it is absolutely beautiful. So for me, very sensual, very sexy, date night, when you're getting really close. This brings back so many memories. This was like when I first, um, I had like a little, not a boyfriend, but like I was seeing someone, I remember this was a long time ago now. And um, every time I wore this, he was like, you smell fantastic. You smell absolutely fantastic. And actually um, my friend that I'm really good friends with right now, he always tells me whenever I wear this perfume, that that is the best perfume that you own. And obviously I own a lot for some reason. I don't know what it is, but Guerlain created like a masterpiece with Mon Guerlain for women. I think that you can do no wrong with this. I've never come across a guy that doesn't like this scent. Beautiful, it's classy, it's, it's sexy, but in a really beautiful way. You know, there's sexy in like a really kind of like seductive, uh, not vulgar, but you know what I'm saying. Like there's sexy like that, and then there's beautiful sexy. This is beautiful sexy. So lavender, vanilla, it's aromatic, it's a little bit powdery, it's a little, it's got a cleanness to it, and I feel like men love clean, but they also love sweet, and that is kind of what's in here. It's clean, but it's also sweet. So Mongola, definitely try it out. It's 100% one of, if you were scared of what perfume to wear, if you were, you know, questioning what perfume to wear on a date, and you just want to smell really good to any guy, I would 100% go with Mongolan. Oh, I love this fragrance so much. It's like one of my new favorites. This has not even be, been launched yet. It's from their new Parfum Cologne line, which I explained in my other video how he, uh, Roger's releasing a line where they really focus on keeping the top notes around, like the top notes of the fragrance around for longer. And then it's the same dry down to the original fragrance, which this one is Danger. So for me, I adore this. When you first initially spray it, it's got that real zestiness, not not citrusy in like an obnoxious way. It's like a spicy, juicy, aromatic. It's like an aromatic, spicy, juicy citrus. But then it kind of settles down into the original danger. So ylang ylang, sandalwood. It's so, so sexy. Like so, so, so sexy. For me, this is more of like a, a daytime, I know this is really specific, but like a daytime date in the fall and winter. So if you're going on a date in the fall and winter, I would wear this fragrance right here. Also maybe like a summer night for sure, but for me, I love this. I love it, I love it, I love it. It's one of my new favorites. Sorry, no sorry. <laughs> I adore this and I still adore it. Everyone was um commenting on my video uh, that I put on my current favorites and saying, what about Delino? What about Santal Complet? What about uh, Oud Bouquet? But guys, they're still my favorites. I was talking about my new favorites. So for me, Delina is a ride or die. She has never, ever, ever done me dirty. Never. I have never worn this fragrance and somebody's commented, and not that somebody would comment this, but you know, you can kind of tell when somebody doesn't really like perfume. I have never, ever experienced anything but positive reactions from Delina. I was telling you guys, like before I left for Canon Dubai, I was uh, at a bar with my friend and um, I went to the toilet, you know, washed my hands, reapplied my perfume and four girls just like flocked to me and was like, that is the best smelling perfume. Please, please, what is that perfume? So I sprayed it on them all and they all just, 
you could just see it how much that they all loved it and that's the you know that's the that's the delina that's it that's the delina magic a hundred percent i have no um what would you say no doubt no doubt inside of me whatsoever that you guys will not like this fragrance because it's just beautiful celebrities wear this fragrance like really 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 famous celebrities like really famous that i couldn't even believe like do you know how many celebrities wear parfum de mali it's crazy to me like it's crazy so and i also want to mention if you don't know how it smells really quick it's a very plush rose peony it's very feminine to me like super feminine there's a rhubarb note in here, a lychee note. To me, the rhubarb note gives it a bit of a twist. It makes it kind of a little bit sour. It's definitely got a powderiness to it, but super, super, super refined. So also I wanted to mention the hair mist. Um, the hair mist. So I know it's a very expensive fragrance. I know I always hate recommending it because of how expensive a lot of the fragrances are. I, I, uh, let me calm down. I feel bad, I genuinely feel pretty bad recommending really expensive fragrances, but because I do this for my job now, like YouTube videos, reviewing fragrances, I want to show you guys the best of the best. I really do want to show you guys the best of the best, not just affordable perfumes, not just expensive, but I do want to show you what I genuinely love and I genuinely love the most, my more niche fragrances, which are always more pricey. So the hair mist, if you cannot afford to lean up, I 100% understand. The hair mist is, I think, like $50 or some, maybe even cheaper than that. I'm not sure. Try it. Try the hair mist. Spray it in your hair. Spray it a little bit on your body, on your clothes. See if you like it. And if you end up falling in love with the scent, which I'm sure you will, then you can uh, maybe ask for a little birthday gift of Delina or Christmas, or you can save up and buy it for yourself. Whatever works for you, but I want everyone to have the chance to try it. So the hair mist is a great option, okay? There's also the body cream, but the hair mist is better off if you guys want to kind of sample it, try it first, and it's too expensive. This is Spiritus Double Vanille from Guerlain. Um, beautiful. One of the sexiest vanilla fragrances ever. You guys know I have Tonka Imperial, I have Angelique Noir, which Angelique Noir is still one of my favorites. But if I could only recommend one, one from this line from Guerlain, I've got to go with Spiritus. It's boozy, spicy pink pepper, a little bit incensey vanilla, very sexy, not overly sweet, which is what I love about it. Cause usually vanilla, usually vanilla is very, very, very sickly. It's very sickly. It's very sweet, even though I love it so much, but this is not sickly. This is more boozy, sexy, spicy, dark, um, pungent sort of vanilla. It's fantastic. So I recommend this one a lot. I think it's very, very, very sexy. Oh, next one. I haven't worn this fragrance in ages and I need to. Like I might wear it tonight. I have to wear this one. It's just, I miss it. It brings back a lot of good memories for me. Very sexy fragrance, Tom Ford Noir Pour Femme. Sweet, spicy, kind of vanilla, ambery. Um, but it's very, very, very unique. Like to me, this fragrance is super unique. It doesn't smell like a typical gourmand with like an overdose of vanilla or cupcakey. It's not like that at all. It's a very sultry, again, mysterious kind of fragrance. To me, it makes me feel very mysterious when I wear this, which I love fragrances that make me feel mysterious because I don't know, I kind of like that vibe, that kind of mysterious, don't come near me sort of vibe. So for me, this is how it makes me feel. It's Got a little bit of a saltiness to it as well. Salty, spicy, ambery, vanilla, but really mysterious sort of vibe. There's like a woody base to it, oriental, but again, like I just said, mysterious, which I love. Uh, okay, Chanel. Chanel Allure Sensuel. Very, again, spicy. Spicy, spicy, spicy. It's got the typical Chanel DNA. Chanel DNA mixed with a lot of patchouli, some pink pepper, a little bit citrusy. But I find this one sexy. I don't feel like everyone would find this sexy. I think this is more of a mature, a mature fragrance for maybe not an older woman, but somebody who likes to smell more sophisticated, classy, etc. I think that this one will definitely do do it for you. So good. Anisio Rehab. I actually just gave this um last night. I gifted Anisio Rehab to my sister. And she is in love. My sister, uh, Jenna, my uh, oh, ugh, my other sister, you guys know Shelby, but I have another sister called Jenna. And she is really, really, really fussy with fragrance. She hates florals. She doesn't like anything too fresh. She kind of likes more um, unique, musky, uh, not too powdery though. Like she's very fussy with fragrance. 
And I went and gave her this year rehab. I sprayed it all on her. And she was like, Demi, that is truly one of the best fragrances that I have ever smelled. And I was like, I knew it. Like I knew it straight away. This one is easily one of the most smooth, refined fragrances that I've tried in my life. It's got a subtle freshness to it, which I really love, like a really kind of calming sort of vibe. It's bergamot, it's a, uh, what is in here? Bergamot, lavender, vetiver, cedarwood, patchouli, guyacwood, sandalwood, and natural musks. Uh, you definitely get a muskiness. You get a little bit of like a vanilla sort of vibe, but not an obvious vanilla, just a really smooth kind of thing. The sandalwood for sure. It's just fantastic. And a little bit, like I said, of an aromatic sort of touch. So Anissio Rehab for me makes me feel very sexy. This is kind of like a, an, any time of the year date. That's it. Any time of the year, you could wear this fragrance, whip it out for a date night. Noir de Noir. I smelled this like the other day and I forgot how much I love this fragrance. And I didn't want to include too many rose oud, so I left out oud bouquet because you guys already know how much I love that. Uh, and it's very strong. I feel like for a date, you may want to, you know, tone it back just a little bit. I uh, left out Armani Privé Rose Darby and I went for Noir de Noir. So, so gorgeous. Wine, dark chocolate and rose. That's what it is to me expensive it smells so 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 expensive i feel like this is a you know a date night at nobu or somewhere extremely pricey this is not like going to the park this is not that this is an expensive date night we actually have one that i have spoken about in my previous video i am obsessed with this fragrance like truly 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 obsessed for me this is men and women there's a lot of fragrances in here that i would say are unisex this is definitely a unisex one Clepiscule DMA. I don't know how to pronounce it, but Clepiscule from Atelier des Ors. Now, this fragrance is one of my favorites that I discovered when I was away, and there's quite a lot of dislikes on fragrance, but like I was looking at the notes because I really was curious of what is in here because I love it so much. And um, yeah, there was quite a lot of people that didn't like this fragrance, but for me, this is so, so, so sexy. It's very ambery, spicy. There's a real punchiness to the fragrance, like a juicy, citrusy sort of thing. I know that there's orange in here, which you definitely get this very punchy sort of vibe to it, along with some sweet touches, a little bit of like a spicy aromaticness. I think it is so, so good, so good. Please try this fragrance, men, women. For me, when I would wear this is maybe like a summer date night, like in the nighttime, like a summer night, summer night. Why does it sound so complicated? A summer night date. That's what I would wear this fragrance in. I know I'm being very specific, but I'm trying to give you guys some, um, some uh, context of where I would wear these. It's fantastic. Even in the fall and winter in like a daytime fall and winter. Surely. Yes, 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 yes. We actually have a cheapy. Thank God. I'm sorry guys. We got a cheapie. Honestly, the best fragrance from Zara. Hands down, the best fragrance from Zara. Rich, warm, addictive. Now, I believe this is quite hard to find now, especially this edition, but I will link it for you. I will try and find it. Please just get it. Like literally just go out, buy it. Just get it. Go buy it. You will not regret it. Men and women, for me, it's a little bit more of a feminine scent, but incredible. Like incredible. This is a... Um, intimate situation fragrance for sure like for sure you won't be able to get them off you at all so zara rich warm addictive honey 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 coconut a tiny bit of a tobacco but tiny 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 insane insane scent loads of compliments actually um when i was on the flight back uh, my flight attendant, or not mine, but you know, the flight attendant crew, cabin crew, there was a guy and he walked past me and I was like, Rich Warm Addictive. And I asked him, I was like, are you wearing Rich Warm Addictive from Zara? He was like, yeah, it's my favorite. And I was like, I knew it. I knew it. It was so intoxicating as he walked past. We have Alien. Alien had to be in here because Alien for me is like, when I want to smell like so sexy, get so many compliments, which is not often. I, I kind of get embarrassed when people compliment my fragrance. I either love it or, or I get really embarrassed. So, but when I wear Alien, I know I smell incredible. I know people around me are just gonna love it. Because for me, this, this scent for me, I think it works like especially really well on me. And it's just inc incredible scent. It's ambery, jasmine, 
it's so hard to explain. It's so, so, so difficult to describe this scent, which everybody says when they talk about it, they don't know how to explain it, but it's true. You've just got to go spray it on your skin and I can guarantee you will love it or you will absolutely hate it. Parfum de Mali. It was so hard for me to only include like two, but I tried. I really tried to like bring it back for you guys. Um, my recommendation for the sexiest for women it was either going to be Herod or Carlisle, but I seem to be one of the only people that thinks that Herod is not super masculine. Everyone that I've spoken to thinks Herod is really masculine fragrance. I don't think it is. Like, I really don't, but I trusted what everyone was telling me, so I'm going with Carlisle because this one... Unisex, creamy, indulgent, as Shelby would say. It smells like white chocolate to me. So smooth, so refined, so expensive smelling. Like to me, this smells like money, like money. This smells like money. It's beautiful, creamy, sandalwood, patchouli, but the patchouli is so smooth and so calm. Patchouli can either be like um, spicy and like really in your face, or it's like this. It is a definite winner from the brand. I think that this is like the masterpiece. And again, you guys were all saying like, don't you love this fragrance anymore? Of course, it would, if it was me, I would talk about them all day, every day. I'd talk about Carlisle, Herod, Leighton, Leighton Exclusive, Ojean, um, Habdan. I recently smelled Habdan and fell head over heels in love with it. But I was, uh, and Kalan obviously, but I was trying to kind of show you guys the newer favorites for me. Um, and Carlisle, you cannot go wrong. I was just having a conversation with a subscriber today um, and I he showed me a photo of his Parfum de Mali that he bought because of me. And I always want to know, like I, I talk to you guys on Instagram, you know, I message you back always. I try to be as, you know, as active as I can because I want to thank you guys for your support. And he showed me a photo. He had Leighton, Herod, Carlisle and Godolphin. And I said, which one's your favorite? I'm curious. And he goes, Carlisle, hands down. And I was like, there we go. A new love. I love this so much. This is Rouge Malachite from Armani Privé. I, yeah, I really, really, really genuinely am obsessed with this fragrance. For me, this is like a, a summer, spring sort of date night. I think it would get a little bit lost in the fall and winter. It might not, but I think it's personally more of a summer, spring, summer night out. Oh, it's just incredible. It's tuberose, ambery. Uh, there's a little bit of like a hand cream sort of smell in there like a creaminess, some jasmine, but it's tuberose done right. It is tuberose done right. The tuberose doesn't smell, because sometimes tuberose can smell quite old and quite vintage. Mm -mm. This is sexy, sexy, sexy. And there's something in the base called cashmere and, or cashmere on, cashmere I think it's something like that. And for me, I really smell it in the fragrance, which is weird because it's like in the bottom, but you get this kind of, that's the hand cream sort of smell to me. This like smooth skin-like sort of feeling. Go and try it. Go and try this fragrance. If you like white flowers, but done in a really seductive way. Really seductive. Usually for me, white flowers can smell, like I just said, a little bit more mature, sophisticated, um, old, I guess. This is so sexy. Like, so look at the bottle. Like, that's just... Mon Parfum Cristal. Um beautiful sweet a little bit powdery um rose toffee there's a little bit of a sharpness in there like there's definitely like kind of like this you know kind of punchiness to it i get a lot of compliments when i wear this fragrance again it was hard for me to only choose one from mikolev because you know how many i love from them but i would say that this is definitely the one that i would if I was going on a date and I could choose to wear one Miklef, it would either be this or Vanille Orient, but that one's discontinued, so I didn't want to recommend it to you guys. But Mon Parfum Cristal, so fantastic. Fantastic, it's quite feminine. Rose, toffee, it's addictive, it's got the sweetness in there. So, love this. Amazing Francis Kirkjean, Oud Satin Mood. One or two sprays maximum on a date, otherwise you, you may choke him <laughs> with your fragrance. Um, I wore this on my birthday, I said that before, I wore this on my birthday, which is like, for me, I think that that's how you know that this fragrance is so epic. I wore it, I chose to wear it on my birthday. Um, it's fantastic, Oud Satin Mood, really, really, really sweet, like really sweet. Rose Oud in a blanket, like just in a little cocoon of major sweetness. It's got a powderiness, a, it's got violet, benzoin, vanilla, rose, oud. Love this one so much. For me, fall and winter, I think it's too much in the summer. It's too intense. I think this is like a fall winter day. Um, one or two sprays. My baby, my baby. 
this is my baby. I'm obsessed. I'm in love. Fragrance du Bois. Can do no wrong to me. Same with Amicio. Apart from Damali. Roger. Like, <laughs> all of them can do no wrong at all. And this is uh, Oud Jeune Intense. Honestly, I said this before, but if I could create a women's perfume, if I could create a women's perfume, when I create a women's perfume, I want it to smell something like this. Obviously, it's copyright. I can't do that. But I want it to smell... I wanted to smell something like this so badly because this to me is just oh heaven it is absolutely heaven tiara flower it's got some pineapple some fruitiness but like i said fruit done to perfection tropical this is a summer night for sure this is one i'm actually going to bali in like a couple of weeks i'm taking this to bali hands down this is coming with me one of the only fragrances i'm going to take to bali vacation tropical hot skin <sighs> just amazing fragrance du bois is easily one of the best fragrance houses that i've ever tried and um this fragrance is just stunning for me it's uh definitely more on the feminine side and also you guys were asking me about santal complet absolute favorite i got a massive bottle of santal complet because of how much i love it i had the smaller one i've got the big one now because of how much i adore the scent again i would have included it in here but if i could only pick one this video is already so long and there's so many fragrances that i could recommend but for me this one is sexier santal complet is more sensual and beautiful and refined and soft creamy sensual this is sexier this is more oh yeah sexy Ujun intense and this fragrance right now i like my babies my babies right now i cannot stop wearing them <sighs> anisio ou for greatness hands down in this list this fragrance makes me feel the sexiest the sexiest hands down this fragrance there is something so unique so mysterious so intoxicating about this scent now this is going to be one for me i think women may feel that this leans a little more masculine because it does but for me that's what gives it the edge of being even more mysterious and even more sexy this fragrance i've said it before i want to do an entire review on it which i never do you guys know i never do like a review specifically on one fragrance but i love this fragrance so much that i want to do it because i think it needs to be it needs to be known it's such an incredible scent it's the most refined smooth uh refined smooth incredible oud fragrances that i've ever tried usually when they uh, people make an oud fragrance it's usually rose and oud or it's like sweet oud this is so unique so special absolute 12 out of 10 masterpiece so it's kind of smoky, like there's a little bit of like this smoky, smokiness to it. A little bit of like a sweetness, which is making it really intoxicating. Um, and the oud, obviously, but like I said, the oud is so mellowed out. It's so mellow, it's so blended, it's so refined. Hands down, makes me feel the sexiest. Anisio oud for greatness. That's it, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed hearing about what my recommendations are for the sexiest fragrances of 2019. That's it. That's my video. Don't forget, I'm doing a meet and greet in New York City, November 5th. So excited. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching the video and I will talk to you soon. Bye.